Hey, Andy here from buildahottub.com. In this video, I'm gonna talk about how to add a circulation pump to your hot tub. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so I had a really interesting conversation with a customer yesterday who got in touch because they wanted to add a circulation pump to their existing hot tubs. The hot tub is a plastic shell tub. It's an older model and it currently has a dual speed pump which does some of the jets on a lounger and the heating and the filtration and then there's a couple of other pumps uh, that do various jets around the tub. And the customer got in touch because they wanted to change that dual speed pump for a circulation pump. Now, I thought there's got to be other people out there that want to do the same thing, so why not make a video about it so I can help more of you with your hot tub modifications. So, before I get going with explaining how to go about doing this, always a great opportunity for me to say please do subscribe to the channel, hit the notification icon to be notified when my videos go live. I do two long form videos just like this every single week, a whole bunch of shorts and everything on my channel focuses on hot tubs, plunge pools, parts, building them all, and pretty much everything in between. Okay, so with that out of the way, why would you want to add a circulation pump to your hot tub? Well, there's a number of reasons that I can think of, plus is the reason that the customer came to me with yesterday. So firstly is efficiency. Dual speed pumps tend to be inefficient than a modern circulation pump. So by switching over to a separate jet pump and a circulation pump could actually make you some savings in your running costs. How much? Really not sure, but if you're on an older model of pump and an older hot tub, then the new models certainly of circulation pumps are so much more efficient. They draw a lot less current, so obviously it will cost you less to run your tub. Secondly, you might be looking to add some additional heating. So whether it's a, an air source heat pump, whether it's you know, an external gas heater, anything along those lines, External heaters, you tend to have circulation pumps on these rather than dual speed pumps. Just because with a dual speed pump, you've got to put a bypass on so that you're not losing power on your jets. And more importantly, you're not putting too much pressure through your heater. So having a separate circulation pump for this kind of a setup is always a good idea. And thirdly, the particular reason that this customer got in touch with me yesterday was the noise. So a dual speed pump and certainly an older dual speed pump was noisy and his neighbors were actually complaining about the noise because it was running on 24 seven circulation. It was a noisy pump, or I should say it is a noisy pump. So he wants to change that and we've discussed how we're gonna do it. And I'm gonna explain in this video exactly how you can go about doing this. So first things first, any modifications that you do to your hot tub are going to invalidate any warranty that you have from the manufacturer. So I'm going to put that out there straight away. Normally, if you're doing this kind of thing, it's an old tub anyway, so it will be long out of warranty, so you've got nothing to worry about. But if you do have a, a newer tub, please be aware, any modifications, the manufacturer will not warrant that tub for you. So the first thing that you need to check is that your spa pack can actually handle a separate circulation pump and a jet pump. So if you've already got two or three pumps, you need to make sure that firstly there's space to add the additional circulation pump, but more importantly, there's actually the setting that you can change, and this is normally done through dip switches, low level programming, or programming on the actual top side control. It varies from spar pack to spar pack, but you've got to be able to set that pump as a circulation pump. You can't have it as a jet pump because it will cut out and it won't turn on when the heater kicks in. So you need to be able to tell the spar pack that it's getting a dedicated circulation pump. Your spar pack has to have space for the new circulation pump. So you can have your circulation, plus whatever jet pumps you've got, and of course any blowers as well. So we'll assume that your spa pack has space. The next thing is how are we gonna connect it up? So you need to be connecting it to wherever your dual speed pump is, 
because that's going to be connected to your filtration and your heater. So the circulation pump needs to go on the same set of plumbing that your dual speed pump, the one that's connected to the heater, the spa pack, you know, the brains of the operation, and of course the filtration as well. Once you've identified where your dual speed pump is, the next thing you're going to need to do is look at the union size because dual speed pumps tend to be, again, I'm generalizing here, but they tend to be at least a two inch union. Some are even a two and a half inch union, but a circulation pump, because they're smaller, they tend to be one and a half inch unions. Now, it is possible to get two inch union circulation pumps. You've just got to check. The benefit of matching those up means you don't have to cut any of the plumbing away and replumb anything there. It, it will just screw in. And you can test that kind of thing before you look to put in the separate jet pump, which I'm going to talk about next. So I'm going to assume that you've now swapped out your dual speed pump for your circulation pump. You've set your spa pack so that it now knows that it's got a dedicated circulation pump. You've tested it and it's all okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put back in the jet pump because if you had a dual speed pump, there would be some jets that would have been powered by that pump when it was on high speed. And if you're putting in a circulation pump, you're obviously going to lose those jets and we want to avoid that. So how do we go about doing this? What you don't do is you don't put the pumps in line, so in series. So you don't put a jet pump either behind or in front of your circulation pump. Seems pretty obvious, but it won't work. The reason it won't work is it won't get the flow that it needs in order to boost the pressure on the jets. So that means you have to put them in side by side. You have to put them in parallel into your hot tub. So you've got to make sure firstly that you've got the space. And secondly, you're going to need to tee into your existing plumbing connections behind your circulation pump and in front of your circulation pump. Think of it as a line coming from the suction and going back to the jets. You need to have these side by side so that the circulation pump is able to draw from the inward suction when it's in circulation mode and it's delivering that hot filtered water back through whichever jets you've decided to connect. And when it's in high speed on that dedicated jet pump, you're drawing from those same inward suction, but you're increasing the pressure on the discharge so that those jets are actually gonna work. Now it sounds a lot more complicated than it actually is. So here's a diagram behind me of what a circulation pump and a jet pump that are plumbed in parallel actually look like. This will give you the pressure that you need on the jets, but it will also give you that dedicated circulation with the new circulation pump that will draw less current, that will be quieter, that will allow you to have additional heat sources if you want to, and of course will cost you less to run. Have I totally confused you in this video? If I have, hit me up in the comments with any questions that you've got. Also, please feel free to get in touch. It's andy at builderhottub.com or you can get in touch via my website, builderhottub.com. Always happy to hear from you. As always, I appreciate the view. I hope you found this short video useful and I will see you on the next video. If you've liked this video, please do like, share and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you on the next video.